evening. The government has attacked as nonsense a call to British Muslims to ignore laws unacceptable to them. Home Office Minister John Patton said that anyone living in Britain had to obey the law of the land. The call was made by Dr Khalim Siddiqui, the leader of the Muslim Parliament, an unelected body holding its inaugural meeting today. But officials at the Regent's Park Mosque in London, the largest in Britain, have told ITN they want nothing to do with Dr Siddiqui. The Education Secretary, Kenneth Clark, has announced plans to remove the bulk of teacher training from colleges to the classroom. Mr Clark told the North of England Education Conference that newly qualified teachers should have practical experience under the supervision of serving teachers. But Labour's education spokesman Jack Straw said the move was half-baked. Gunfire has continued in the Georgian capital of Tbilisi, but a demonstration by supporters of the besieged president Zviad Gamsahurdia has passed off without incident. His opponents have dropped a demand that the president be put on trial unless he resigns. Mr Gamsa Hurdia has insisted he won't step down or negotiate. In another development, an army newspaper says that thousands of weapons stolen from the former Soviet army are helping to fuel violent conflict in the southern republics. An editorial in Red Star said that more than 15,000 firearms, including 700 submachine guns, were missing from army depots in the Transcaucasus, which includes Georgia. Syria, Jordan and Lebanon have delayed the departure of their Mideast peace negotiating teams in protest at Israel's decision to expel 12 Arabs from the occupied territories. The Palestinian delegation has already postponed its departure indefinitely. The peace talks are due to resume in Washington on Tuesday. And that's all from this Channel 4 summary. The next news from ITN is on ITV at 10 o'clock.